few days ago, Inter lost the final of the Champions League versus Manchester City and probably a lot of Inter fans are blaming currently Romeo Lukaku for this loss because, come on, he missed so many crucial chances. But not only did they manage to lose the final of the Champions League, they also finished third in Serie A. And finished third in Serie A is not that bad, but the difference between them and Napoli is huge, man, regarding points. So that's why we're gonna come in handy right now, try to take over Inter, rebuild them as fast as possible and, of course, put them on the top of the Serie A and the biggest aim is gonna be of course to win the Champions League maybe repeat even the treble of 2010 this is also gonna be an awesome achievement so if you enjoyed this rebuild and you want to see more rebuilds like that leave a like subscribe to the channel you know what to do can we achieve 200 likes on this episode this is gonna be awesome but now Let's start the Inter rebuild. This is how the current Inter squad is looking. They're using 5-1-2-2 as a formation and we're actually gonna stick with it because I want to keep it as materialistic as possible. But I heard some rumors that two of their three defenders are actually gonna leave the club as a free agents. Of course, Mir Skriniar and Stefan De Vrij. So that's why we put them straight on the transfer list with the hope that we're gonna receive some nice offers and we can actually sell them before their contract is gonna expire. And we need to replace them man, with some nice defenders next to Bastoni. So this is going to be the two key positions we're going to try to improve, especially in the first season. Other than that, the midfield looks kind of all right in Chohanogu and Brozovic. I don't want to actually change that, at least for the first season. Nicolo Barella is the star of this team without any shadow of a doubt. And the biggest question right now is what we're going to do with Romero Lukaku. He's currently on loan at Inter and I'm not 100% sure if he's our man, man. He had some amazing seasons with Inter, but he missed also so many crucial chances, especially in the big moments like in the Champions League final. So we're going to see what we're going to do with Romero Lukaku. But first, let's fix the defense problems. After we managed to sell Stefan De Frey to Atletico Madrid and Miu Skriniar to Villarreal, we do have one. 152 million to spend in the first season with Inter. So let's just find their replacements on the market. The first defender that we're bringing to Inter is going to be Christian Romero. We need to pay 62.8 million for him to Spurs, but I do believe that this guy is a perfect fit for our team. Next defender is going to be Ibrahima Konate. We paid 54 million to Liverpool for him, but come on, he has so much potential. I do believe he can grow up to 90 overall. So Konate, Welcome to Inter. Probably the last sign that we're gonna make in the first season with Inter is gonna be Jasper Lindstrom from Eintracht Frankfurt. We paid nearly 20 million for this boy, but he has also so much potential and Chohanoglu is getting older and older and I do believe that this guy is his perfect replacement. So this is how the current lineup is looking after our recent transfer moves to manage to make. And now the biggest question is what we're gonna do in our attack. Should we actually stick with Romeo Lukaku? I do believe, especially for the first uh, first season yes we should because we do have only four million to spend and basically with four million we cannot buy anyone so let's just jump into the first game of the season and see how this team is actually gonna perform first game of the season is gonna be versus spezia at san zero i'm super excited to see how this team is gonna perform and hopefully we're gonna manage to destroy spezia come on boys come on lukaku prove me that i'm wrong man and you have a spot at this inter squad man come on Nicolo Barella here. Come on, Barella. Come on, Barella. I need you to be the star of this team. Oh, what about? What about to Altaro Martinez? Come on, Altaro. Oh, look at Lu Come on, Lukaku. Come on, Lukaku. Give it to Romeo Lukaku. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Proof everyone wrong. Romeo Lukaku. What a nice finish. First goal of the season. Oh, Konate right now. Come on, Konate. Let's go. What a nice defensive tackle from Konate. Our new signing. Lukaku one more time. Come on, Lukaku. Okay, nice here. Really good here to Di Marco. Back to Chohanoglu. Come on, Chohanoglu. Okay, this doesn't look bad at all. To Nicolo Barella. Barella. Ba Nicolo Barella. Oh, he nearly scored that. Come on, Romero. Oh, Romero here got passed by, but Onana. What a nice save from Onana. He had all some amazing saves at the Champions League final, by the way, but hey, it was not enough at the end. Oh, now it's looking dangerous, man. Now it's definitely looking dangerous. I'm on Romero, defend. Oh, Denzel Dumfries. What a nice block here from Denzel Dumfries. Now it's our turn to shine. Come on, give it to Brozovic. Brozovic all alone here. Come on, Brozovic. Should I pass to Altaro? Yeah, wow. Brozovic doesn't have the speed, sadly, man. But he's so good defensively, but attacking-wise, maybe he's not that great. 
And so Dumfries here to Lukaku. Come on, Romeo. Oh, give it to Di Marco. Really good uh, vision from Romeo Lukaku here to Chauhanoglu. Nope. Wow, what a save from their goalkeeper. The attack was brilliant, but their goalkeeper was better than our attack, man. Nice. It's looking like we're going to win in a classic Italian style. Just 1-0, basically dominating the whole game. But let's see. Oh, nice cross here. Ah, this could have been the second goal of the game, but it's still not that late. Maybe we can do it. Nicolo Barella, Barella, Barella. Ah. Uh, but doesn't matter. We managed to get our first win of the season. Let's just jump now into the simulation and see how far we can actually go in the first season with Inter. With only one game left until the end of the Serie A season. Look at us, man. We're sitting on the top of the Serie A with two points advantage to the second Juventus. And basically, if we win or drew the last game of the season versus Empoli, we're going to be Serie A champions after just one season with Inter. Honestly amazing start of this rebuild but not only that we also managed to win Coppa Italia in the final we beat Lazio 2-1 so basically the double is still possible but now let's check it out what's happening in the Champions League we somehow managed to get out of our group stage we finished with equal points with Barcelona but we somehow go to a round of 16 but in the round of 16, Liverpool were just better than us and they eliminated us. So our run in the Champions League ends in the round of 16, but we're definitely not ready in my opinion yet. But next year, next year, we're going for this Champions League title. The team is looking also unreal, man, but maybe you're noticing that one player is missing and this is Denzel Dumfries. Manchester City paid his release close and now we're without him, but we're gonna improve this position for sure in the upcoming season. But other than that, the defense looks unreal like Romero, Bastoni and Konate, really good defenders. Di Marco, future of this club, of course. Brozovic, Barella and Chauhanoglu are also really, really good looking. Maybe Chauhanoglu is time for move on from him because he is getting older and older. But Brozovic, Barella, amazing player. Baltaro Martinez and Lukaku are also developing pretty good but the loan of Lukaku is gonna expire and next season we're gonna figure out what to do with our strikers but now let's see who the top goal scorer and the top assistant at this rebuild so far is top goal scorer of the first season is actually Hakan Chauhanoglu funny enough with 24 goals I did not expect that but hey he proved me wrong of course top assistant is gonna be Nicolo Barella with 13 assists this season but let's check it out how the others are doing wow Romeo Lukaku is actually adding 17 goals to the mixture he's having more goals than Waltaro Martinez which is very interesting so Jack is also adding 12 goals not a bad performance from the old veteran so we need to figure out what to do in the next season man but before that let's just jump into the game versus Empoli and hopefully manage to secure the double by winning the Serie A oh Romeo Lukaku here nice Waltaro come on Waltaro Martinez Waltaro Martinez from there on come on Waltaro come on Waltaro how can you miss from there man this was a great opportunity for us to take the lead early at this game Oh no, oh no, oh no, Empoli strike first, ooh, now it's getting interesting, man, if they beat us here, we're not gonna win the Serie A, what a mistake from Darmian, Darmian was just chilling there, not paying attention at all, we definitely need a new right wing back, man, next season, so this is probably gonna be the first thing that we're gonna try to do, and of course, fix our attacking problems, Lubarella here, give it to Lukaku, come on, Lukaku, come on, Lukaku, you can score that, Lukaku! <laughs> How can you miss that, man? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Onana saved us here. This could have been 2-0 for Empoli. What's happening with our team? Nice Konate here. Good interception from Konate. Now it's our turn to shine. Give it to Otaro. Come on, Lukaku. Start the run, Lukaku. Why are you not starting the run, Barella? Please. Come on, Nicolo. Nice here. Really good attack so far. Chauhano glue. Come on, Nicolo Barella. Please, please, Barella. Please, Barella. Let's go. Let's go. Nicolo Barella is putting us back into the game. Beautiful ball here from Chauhano Glue and an amazing, amazing shot from Nicolo Barella to make it 1 1. Come on. We're back into the game. Chauhano Glue here. Come on. Come on. Let's give it to Autaro. Okay. We didn't manage to get to Autaro, but. Nice to Darmian. Come on, Darmian. Please. Lukaku. Let's go. What a finish. Romeo Lukaku. I'm so sorry whatever I said about you, man. You are probably going to deliver the Serie A title. Come on. 
Amazing finish from Romeo Lukaku. He proved himself, man. When we need him, he was there. Amazing one. This was actually a tough shot, to be honest with you. Maybe this can actually be the goal of this rebuild. So tell me in the comments, guys, what do you think about it? But let's see. Come on, Lukaku. Let's go. And there it is. The goal of Romeo Lukaku is securing us the title in Serie A. And why Wataru is our captain? I need to change that. He's definitely not ready to be captain. Maybe Bastoni maybe Nicolo Barella but this will fix in the next season but now come on look, come on Wautaro let's go Serie A champions let's go to the next season and see how well we're gonna do there around 60% of you that are watching my content are not subscribers to the channel so if you enjoy what I'm doing then please leave a like and also subscribe so we can continue growing beginning of the second season and Romeo Lukaku already left us because his loan expired so we definitely need a new striker and a new right wing back these are gonna be the two positions that we're gonna try to improve I'm still not 100% sure if I should bring Romeo Lukaku. I really don't want to, but after his last go for Inter, like by securing us the Serie A title, maybe I should. But I do believe I'm not gonna do that. Tell me in the comments if it was actually a wrong decision. But let me show you for which two players are we gonna go in the second season of this review. And since the board are giving us nearly 200 million to spend, why just not spend them, man? We're signing João Felix from Atletico Madrid. His loan at Chelsea expired and we need to pay 100 million for his services. But come on, João Felix next to Altaro Martinez. This is a deadly duo. And we're bringing also one of the most talented talented right wing back in the world of course i'm talking about jeremy frimpong he's unreal man he's so good in every career mode that i'm using him so let me see how he's gonna develop also here at inter and now with rendition of joao felix and jeremy frimpong this is how the lineup is gonna look like we put joao felix a little bit behind Waltaro martinez so he can actually fulfill this center forward role that he really wants to so let's see how well we're gonna do in the second season with inter but end of the second season with Inter we managed somehow to win back to back Serie A and this was even closer than from the previous year we managed to win it on the last day of this Serie A season crazy crazy stuff man Juventus actually I do believe lost their last game and of course we managed to do it or something like that let me just check yeah Juventus was versus Bologna and this actually made us champion this is crazy crazy good and I'm super lucky that this actually happened. But now let's check it out what's happening in the other competitions. Well, the double is secure, guys. Look at us. We beat Juventus in the final of Coppa de Italia. We beat them 2-0 in the final now. Now the most important thing is what's happening with the Champions League. We finished second into our group with same points as the first Olympique Marseille. But the most important thing that we're through to the round of 16. And there we defeat Bayern München 4-2 on aggregate. Pretty good performance from our boys. And in the quarterfinals, it was really interesting. We beat Manchester United on penalties 4-2. A really, really good result at the end in the penalties. And in the semi-final, we destroyed Atletico Madrid, man. And this means only one thing. We're in the final. And in the final, we're going to face... Paris Saint-Germain and Kylian Mbappe. This is going to be such a battle, but Paris Saint-Germain is actually standing away of us completing the treble. But before that, let's just check how the team developed and of course, who the top goal scorer and the top assistant of this second season is. This is how the team is looking, man. No wonder why we're destroying everyone on our way. Look at it. Almost everyone is at least 90 rated or close to 90 rated. The only downside of this team is DiMarco, who is 85, but I'm never going to change DiMarco. Sally Romero is going to be injured for the final, but everyone else is looking amazing. Top goal scorer of this rebuild is still Hakan Chauhanoglu with 49 goals right now in total. And he's funny enough also becoming the top assistant of this rebuild. He overcame Nicolo Barella and now he has 28 assists of this rebuild. Amazing, amazing one. But let's check it out how the others are doing. Actually, the top goal scorer of this second season was Wautaro Martinez with 30 goals. Whoa. What a season he is having. Look at Joao Felix, by the way. 22 goals and 11 assists. Pretty good performance. Nicolo Barella, 15 goals. Whoa, really good. Team is developing amazingly. Let's just jump into the game versus Paris Saint-Germain. Hopefully, manage to win the treble. There it is, the beautiful Champions League trophy. Are we going to be able to lift it in a matter of seconds, boys? Versus Paris Saint-Germain. Kylian Mbappe. This is going to be a battle. Oh, they do have still Icardi, do believe? Is that Icardi? Yeah, it is Icardi. Ooh, our former player. Very, very interesting. 
O Hakan here. Oh, to Altaro. What a ball. What a ball to Altaro Martinez. Nope. Of course, he's gonna miss that, but the rebound. Come on, Waltaro. How can you miss it on the first place? But the rebound. Come on, we're taking the lead versus Paris Saint Germain, man. Wow. I did not expect that, to be honest, it should to be that easy with Inter, but so far it is looking really, really, really easy. But let's just not celebrate too soon because they do have Kylian Mbappe and we know how good Kylian Mbappe this game is. Raul Felix here, good one to Jeremy Frimpong. Come on, Jeremy Frimpong. Come on, Jeremy Frimpong. Gonna cross it to Wautaro. Come on, Wautaro. Please, Wautaro. Come on, Wautaro. Oh, now Kylian Mbappe. Oh, oh, Mbappe here is doing some Mbappe type of things. Top him. Nice, Di Marco. Good one. Ah, but they're gonna give the free kick. Okay. Can Mbappe score from there? Highly doubt, but... Let's see. Oh, oh, this was really, really close, but no, oh, at the end, it was not a goal. Come on, boys. We're getting closer and closer of lifting the Champions League. He is faster than Chauhanu Glue, and now it's dangerous. No, no, not Icardi, man. Not Icardi. Good on Anna. Just not Icardi. Anyone else, but not Icardi. Okay. Icardi went out. This is good. This is definitely... Oh, they're putting Messi instead of Icardi. Really? How can you let the goat on the bench, man? Are you crazy? Iculo Barella here. Nice, Wautaro. Come on, Wautaro. Come on, Wautaro. Please, bro. Please, Wautaro Martinez. You can do it. I think he's in offside. Yeah, he's in offside. Ah, I panicked here a little bit, guys. This should have been 2-0, but... Oh, they do have also Neymar Jr.? Wow, Paris Saint-Germain, man. What are you doing, man? Oh, but maybe now. Joao Felix. Joao Felix. <laughs> there you go 2-0 the treble is almost complete guys we're just 20 minutes away of actually lifting the champions league wow i really hope you enjoy so far this review of course if so leave a like subscribe to the channel you know what to do but come on there you go the treble is complete and in a matter of seconds lautaro martinez is actually gonna lift his first champions league trophy we're gonna do another season with inter because i really want to see if we actually manage to create a dynasty with this team because so far it is looking super easy man we didn't have a problem winning Serie A so far at all we managed to win also the cup two times in a row and now we managed also to leave the Champions League so this team is unreal let's just jump into the third and final season and see if we can do it back to back beginning of the third season and this is how the lineup is looking we're not gonna touch it at all because these guys just won the treble man and they for sure deserve to win it back to back but before we actually see how we're gonna do by the end of the third season we're gonna just jump into december to see if any of our players is gonna be nominated for the bow and door and of course if anyone is gonna win it so let's go and as expected two of our players are nominated for the player of the year award i really hope that waltaro is gonna win it but let's find out oh joao felix won it okay now this is something surprising to me i really expected waltaro to win because he was the top goal scorer of this team last season but well adding joao felix to the mixture honestly helped us massively and that's why probably he won the bow and door. Wow, wow, wow. Let's now see if we can actually repeat everything this season. For the third time in a row, we managed to win Serie A. This time with 10 points gap to the second Milan. Really, really good performance from our boys. But not only that, we managed to win for the third straight time the Coppa de Italia. Wow, what a team, man. Honestly, the team is developing amazingly. But of course, not only that, we're in the final of the Champions League and we can actually do the back-to-back -back treble versus Manchester United. Like this sounds ridiculous how easy this rebuild was through the whole time with Inter, man. I'm honestly speechless how good this team is. Because everyone right now is really close to either 90 or is already above 90 overall. The only downside of this team, downside of this team is Di Marco who is 86 overall, but everyone else is just amazing, man. Like Joao Felix after winning the Bowen Door for the first time in his career is joint highest overall player of this team with of course Bastoni but now let's check if Hakan Chauhanoglu is still the top goal scorer and the top assistant of this review and the answer to this question is yes he is the top goal scorer and the top assistant of this rebuild he managed to score 74 goals in total and assisted 43 times what a rebuild we had with Hakan Chauhanoglu man I really do believe that he is actually the 
the start of this rebuild and not Joao Felix who already won the Ballon d'Or. Now let's check it out how the others did perform in the third season with Inter. Top goal scorer of the third season is actually Joao Felix with 38 goals and 10 assists. Whoa! Waltaro Martinez 27 goals but this was not enough for him to become the top goal scorer of this rebuild. It is crazy that a midfielder is the top goal scorer of the rebuild but hey let's just jump into the game versus Manchester United and hopefully manage to win the treble back to back. Waltaro right now come on Waltaro Martinez nice to Di Marco here Di Marco here let's cross it come on Joao Felix Joao Felix how can you miss that man by the way what a save from David De Gea but wow how can you miss this type of situations Maybe now Joao Felix here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hundred percent. This is the goal of the rebuild. Oh, oh, let's just look it one more time. Joao Felix destroyed Lisandro Martinez here. Look at it one more time here, Lisandro Martinez. Where did you end? <laughs> Joao Felix, what a monster we managed to create. Miles better than Lukaku and all of his misses. Let's go. Oh, nice Brozovic here to Chauhanoglu. Come on, Chauhanoglu. You're the top goal scorer, man. Oh, this was close, but really weak shot. Oh, Manchester United striker is Tammy Abraham. Oh, -ho, Konate. Konate, what a monster. Man, Konate is so good in the defense with all the tackling and so. Oh, nice, nice Barella here. To Altaro, to Barella, to Joao Felix, Joao Felix, 2-0, come on, we're gonna destroy Manchester United, <laughs> nice. Oh, Hakan Chauhano glue right now, come on, come on, Hakan. Joao Felix, hat-trick hero maybe, hat-trick hero, let's go, let's go, let's just jump in the celebration of us completing this rebuild by lifting the back-to-back -back Champions League trophies, come on! There it is, we're creating something special in this rebuild, guys. Tell me in the comments who for you the star of the team is either Joao Felix or of course Hakan Chauhanoglu, should be in my opinion, but now Lautaro is gonna lift the Champions League, come on my boy, let's go! Champions League winner, treble maker, back to back. I really hope you enjoyed it. Now I'm out and I wish you a great day. Bye bye.